I made a level editor for my game Lost in Parallels and I discovered a lot of things that I'm gonna share with you. But first, what is a level editor? A level editor is a software that allows you to create levels for a specific game. It's that simple. For example, if you use Godot Engine or Unity to create the levels of your game, in a way, it is your level editor. So, why spending time creating a level editor if your engine can handle all of this? Well, except if you made your own, you're using a pretty generic game engine. And you get my point. This engine is designed to create a game, but not specially designed for your own game. A consequence is that your engine might be a great tool to create your game, but not necessarily a good one to create your game's levels. And this might even be true if you're creating your own engine. As a result, depending on your project, creating a level in your engine can be so much time consuming. Even worse, doing some level design testing and modifying your levels can turn into a nightmare. For example, in my project, Lost in Parallels, which is a really good game, each level has two parallel dimensions, each with its own physics, and each level shares a dimension with the previous level and the next one. You see, this is already getting complex. I need to create each dimension with the previous and the next one in mind. Moreover, editing a single level forces me to edit the previous and the next one. Recursively, if I want to modify a level, I can end up having to change each and every level in the game. So, in my case, creating a level editor will definitely be a time saver in the long run. And I invite you to think about it, try to estimate how much time you spend creating, modifying and polishing your levels, compare it with how much time it will take to create a level editor, and how much time it will save you on each level. Also, the more levels you want in your game, the more likely you are to need a level editor. And another benefit of creating a level editor is that later you could include it in your game, or at least make it available to your players, so they can build and share their very own and unique levels. Fine, now that you know if you need one or not, let's discuss how to create a level editor. I'll cover the possibilities you have using Godot Engine and how I made mine for Lost in Parallels. Which is a really good game. I'll give you all the tips and tricks I discovered. The first choice is to use the tool keyword to run code inside the editor. That means you can modify the Godot editor as you wish. Moreover, you can create your own plugins using only GDScript. Trust me, it's surprisingly easy if you're used to Godot. This way, you can create new editor panels and run some code to help you during your level editing. This method is easy to set up and allows you to reuse Godot features. So you're going to save time when creating the editor. You can also share your plugins on the Godot Asset Store, which is cool. But notice that your level editor is still inside Godot, so you cannot include it inside your game. You can see this method as enhancing Godot to speed up your level creation process. For example, you could build a panel helping you to create an enemy, so you only have to enter its stats and place it into your level. This can be especially productive when you work in a team, so everyone can use the engine to build levels and balance the game without having to code. I didn't use this method for Lost in Parallels, but it's definitely something I want to try out. Instead, I made an application almost from scratch using Godot. It's quite some work, so let me guide you. First, you need to decide whether your level editor will be available within your game or not. If so, you can start creating your editor within your Godot project. Just create a folder and keep everything related to your level editor inside this folder. Otherwise, if you want to keep the level editor for yourself, you can either use the previous method but exclude your folder when you build the game, or you can use the branch feature of Git. That's what I did. Simply create a new branch called level editor and start building your level editor inside this branch. Notice that you can override your scenes and scripts without affecting the main branch. And if you update something in the game, you can use Checkout to bring it to the level editor branch. When building the editor, you can run your game with an empty level and just add a user interface, which will allow you to place objects and modify the level as you wish. When you're done with the level edition, you still need to save the level you made. You can save it as a Godot scene, for example, level.tscn. To do this, save your level's root node using the resource saver. But keep in mind, for each node you add during the editing of the level, you need to set its owner to be the level's root node. 
otherwise the added nodes will not be saved. For myself, the most complicated part was to generate the collision polygons for both dimensions depending on the time maps. I spent a lot of time creating and bug fixing a 400 lines program, but somehow I managed to end up with something working fine. For the rest, it was pretty straightforward. I just had to make a tool to place and delete objects and create a panel so I can change the design of the dimensions. So if you encounter difficulties during the process of creating a level editor, don't give up. I'm sure you'll find a way to make it work. And in the end, you'll be so happy and proud of yourself. And if you need it, I'll be glad to help you. Just join the Discord server and reach me there. I hope this video helped you. If you enjoyed watching, please like and subscribe. Good luck in your projects and see you soon.